Hello. So I keep seeing these stringy tops like this. And I wanted to make something like that. So I copycatted it. I'm a little bit busty right now. Um, I finished nursing not too long ago, but you know, they're still hanging out. So <laughs> I need a little bit of support and that this top doesn't give me a lot of support. So I will say probably for a smaller bust. I used a knit, so mine is stretchy. This top was really easy to make. It's just four rectangles. Um, you know, the top two, these two little ones, and then one on the back. Um, yeah, so it's really easy. Let's just get in. Okay, so I just loosely measured my back, which was about 16 and a half inches. So then I cut my pieces. This is what I cut them at, screenshot this. Um, but basically I wanted my back piece to be 30 inches tall so that it would be about 15 inches tall when I folded it like this. And then I clipped along the top and sewed that piece. So that's the back, the back is done. We can put that aside. Now we have one of the front pieces, one of the front top pieces, we're gonna fold that in half. And then we sew along the bottom and the top edge and you leave that side edge open. Okay, so we have our two front top pieces with their sides open. I turn them inside out, or I turn them right side out and then iron them and they look like this. Then you'll do the exact same thing with the bottom front pieces. You will leave the sides open and sew the top and the bottom on both of those. They should look like this. I ironed those. And now the front pieces, you have to fold the inside part in. So you need something for your string to go through. So I folded those under. And then here's a little more official view of how I folded that under. I want them to all be even and straight. So I measured three quarters of an inch and that's how much I folded mine over. Clipped that. I ended up doing a long straight stitch for this. Then you have something that looks like this when all your pieces are done and I wanted the front pieces to overlap so I crossed them over one inch. I clipped it and then I pulled them apart just a little bit and I wanted them to match so I measured four inches over and I sewed along there and along there. So now the front piece is basically done. I cut some elastic. I cut it I think nine inches long, you could make it, you could cut it even shorter and have it more ruched, but it'll do this kind of effect. I did that to both front pieces and I sewed it on the wrong side so that you don't see it, not on the right side. I used a stretch stitch. I did the same thing to the back side pieces. Alternatively, you could just use one piece of elastic if you sewed the sides together and then put the elastic in, but I put elastic on the fronts and the backs and then sewed them together. All right, so then this is what we have. We have the back piece, which is ruched on the sides and the front pieces, which are ruched on the sides. And then I put right sides together. And just sewed along the sides. I use a serger, you could use a stretch stitch. And then I, you just put a pin, a safety pin on the end of your cord or whatever you're using. And you put that through the front, you cross them, weave that through, and then you're done. I ended up wanting this to stay put. So I ended up sewing the pieces where they're, sewing the string where it crossed, which you can kind of tell there. And that's the final product.